Mike mentioned the partnership with Supersport. Here we are in our studio next to the putting green at the Gary Player Country Club. But we thought we'd take you behind the scenes. What exactly goes in to producing a golf tournament of this magnitude? Now, for people who sit in their lounges and enjoy the golf, they've got no idea what goes on behind the scenes. What's the process between taking a camera picture into the OB City and sending it out on air? I'll tell you that process starts six months ago when we have our first production meetings and we plan and we see what we want to do different because every year at the NetBank Golf Challenge we try and push the envelope and, and up our game as it were and, and try and do things differently. Um, then once the guys come in on the previous week, they park the OB vans and they start rigging the cables all over here. We've got about 45 kilometers worth of optic fiber cables around this magnificent golf course. Uh, we've got 40 cameras this year and they all plug into the van. Um, and then you'll also see some of the cameramen walk in the fairways with the camera on his shoulder. Those guys really work hard. And that link goes straight to that tree. And also our on-course commentators, their audio gets sent via link to the top of that tree and that gets pulled into our Obi van. So that's how we, we get everything together. Um, we obviously have a director in the Obi van who is cutting the cameras. And he's got to listen to my voice the whole day, unfortunately. Um, being the executive producer for this event, I have to build a storyline. So I've got to look at the leaderboard. I have to look at... Uh, who's making a charge and I've got to decide where do I want to go with the story and who are we showing uh, and sometimes it's a story of who you're not showing um, sometimes there's 10 or 12 guys in your storyline and you're trying to show every shot of every golfer which is tough this year I mean we've got 30 players um, and you've got to make a decision and the director has got to listen to you and everyone else on this production has got to listen to my voice the whole day so so it is challenging um, and that's probably why they call it the NetBank Golf Challenge. Red, stand by on a one, roll red, white on a production like this, experience counts for a lot. And the director that we have, Scott Seward, has been doing this nearly as long as that I've been alive. He's been, he's been in that OB van for 31 years, uh, so he's only missed two uh, since the start in 1981. So his experience, I mean, I draw a lot from that. Uh, I take a lot of guidance from him. He makes it as easy as possible because when I can't understand where I want to take the storyline next, Scott's just there and he backs me up. Um, he goes to a beauty shot or the leaderboard or, or something and he buys me time to get my head around where I want to go. So, so Scott's experience is great, but then Scott's also not scared yeah, to share that experience. For, uh, for a reaction and take 20. The first one obviously was in 1981 and uh, if memory serves me correctly, we had about three OB units there and probably about 60 or 70 odd people. And today it's 42 cameras and it's really evolved as the years have gone by. Take us through a typical day in production. Yeah, it is a, uh, there, there's a lot of preparation for this tournament. Um, obviously, we come out and do surveys and place all the cameras and that, but when we're out here and the, the tournament is on, you know, we have the, the camera meetings in the morning to let every, everybody know what we expect and how we want them to operate. And we've got a whole crew inside the OB van doing another production while we're live so that we can turn around shots for the commentators. And it's it's... It's really quite involved. It's not just, as people see it at home, lovely pictures on air. How stressful is it having those banks of screens in front of you as a television director and deciding where to go next? I think, uh, I think I'm, for my part, it's really quite easy in a way because I have an executive producer who runs the storyline and tells me which hole to be on. But the trick is actually trying to divorce yourself from all the other cameras and just concent concentrate and focus on the cameras that you actually need to use. The difficult thing is actually trying to realize who the golfers are and what clothes they're wearing and is that Dubisana or is it uh, 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 Manasera and that's a little bit difficult. Matthew, you can't hear Ryan, eh? Okay, you're just going to go with me. Everybody's got to listen to your voice. Who's everybody? How many people? What are the logistics around putting this together? Give us some of the numbers. We've got about 300 crew members who work for Supersport and that is from the guys who drive the buggies, from the guys who've got to make sure that there's enough food and catering for all the guys out there. Um, we've got 40 cameras, as I said, of which uh, 36 of them are manned. You know, so um, then we've got plenty of audio guys walking, walking the fairways, walking with each group. We've got two on-course commentators. We've got five commentators in the booth who will work on a rotation basis. We're doing blitz reports from here. We're sending news feeds all around the world. We also use this event as a, as a fantastic development project for Supersport. Um, and a lot of guys can come here and cut their teeth as well. So I think it's, if they can manage this event, none of the other events is too big. Without the team, we can't be successful. Um, and I must say, at the NetBank Golf Challenge every year, the team effort, the guys pull together, it's the biggest production we do. It's 
basically the only golf tournament that we do. And I think our cameramen out there, our audio guys, the guys in the back room, the guys cutting cameras, our three ball cutters, they do a magnificent job. They are my eyes and ears out there and what they show is what I can then show to the rest of the world. As we've heard, 42 cameras on site for the Ned Bank Golf Challenge. So what does it take to follow a golf ball in flight? I can tell you, but I'll have to kill you. How much are you prepared to pay? Oh, well, it's one of those right brain, left brain scenarios, you know. Only cameramen with superior intelligence knows how to do it.